if you never, ever, 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 ever take any other advice from me, I urge you to take this advice. Do what you want, of course. Never, ever, ever, never, 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 ever, as long as you walk this earth, believe hearsay. Don't do it. When I was growing up, we were forbidden two things, from, from believing hearsay and gossiping about another person. If we, if that person, if we don't see it, we don't believe it. Wait and see. Because people will lie. I'm telling you, as you mentioned, there's good and evil in the world, and people will lie. They're in a fallen state, and they will lie. And if you believe a lie about someone else, somebody else is going to believe a lie about you. Because what you put it out is going to come back on you. That's why you have to be right, you have to be it. And have faith. Because you can only put out good and that's what will come out, uh, back on you. Never gossip and never believe what someone has to say about another person. And if someone comes to you to tell you something about another person, you send them to that person or tell them, I'm going to tell them. That way your soul is protected. Because you're not agreeing with the gossiper. But I don't know if Michael Jackson did that or not. And I don't know if Orrin Kelly is guilty or not. So I leave it. I don't know. I don't care how compelling the writing is. Don't believe it. Wait and see. If you really want to know, know about R. Kelly, go ask him. And Michael Jackson is dead, so he can't defend himself. Why would you even think about believing the people and the other person not even around to even defend themselves? I would battle as a spiritual battle. You really have to be careful. Because the people who are writing these things and saying these things about Michael Jackson and R. Kelly, R. Kelly and whomever else, they'll do it about you. If you gain a little power, you become popular for a song, or you become the next president, or you be, they'll do it to you too. And the world will be believing it. But if you plant the right seed, the world won't believe it. The children of the law might believe anything, but most of the part, you'll be fine because God is with you. That, I mean, in the Bible, it doesn't say don't gossip, don't listen to this stuff. That's the world way, and children of God are different. We got to start being different because we're the light of the world, the salt of the earth. So I recommend, unless Michael told you he did it, I wouldn't believe it. I would just let the information go in one ear and out the other one. And never trust a person who say they believe it because if they believe about someone else that they didn't even hear from, They'll believe about you, too. John Doe stole my dog. They was at my house and stole my dog. Oh, yeah, they stole your dog. And they'll go tell someone else. I'm telling you, anybody disagree with that? No. Don't believe what you hear. Even when I'm up teaching, I tell you all the time, let, let the word go in one ear and out the other. We had a major, major men meeting on uh, this past Thursday. It was... And everybody and their daddy showed up. <laughs> Interesting stuff came out of that, right? But you got to be able to see for yourself, know for yourself. If you're just taking somebody else's word, you don't know. And you're going to be led, led down the wrong pathway. You're going to be on that big road that leads to destruction. You got to always take the straight and narrow path. Always wait and see. Anybody disagree with that? I want a real disagreement. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not for just to be disagreeing. This young man right here. You disagree with me? Yeah, I think we should just judge every accusation based on the evidence. We shouldn't no. start from disbelieving you don't or have belief. Evidence. You need both parties there. Sure, I agree. I'm, I'm People should be able to defend themselves. If you don't have both parties there, don't believe it. We have a society now that people just say anything. Look how men are being destroyed by lies. And how do they prove that? We are innocent until proven guilty. And we knew this growing up. And now we allow the, these radical women who hate men, hate God, hate family to take over. Now they're making you believe anything. You got to stop that. It's not good. It's really not good. It's up to you, though. If you want to believe what you hear, suffer. But I don't care how they write it, what they say, how professional they are in the way they speak, let it go in one ear and out the other. And then God will reveal to you, or you'll know if you need to know. 
I don't even care what my congestion did. Or R. Kelly. That's their own problem they have to deal with. I wish them well. Because in that father say, as he mentioned, anything, you can say to convince you to do anything. So wish people well, but do not believe what you don't know. That makes sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I got to move on to something else? Unless you have a question for me. Yes, sir. Be quick. Be quick. Um, it's sort of like the, what happened to Judge Kavanaugh. That, that's what like, made me realize the, uh, the wickedness in uh, those kind of uh, accusations. Yes. So that's why I don't believe, I don't believe it anymore. Yeah. They ruined that man's life. When God said that people, uh, mankind's heart is wicked, it's absolutely true. You'd be surprised at what people would do to you. Even your own flesh and blood. If they're in a fallen state, there's no limit to their destruction. It's amazing. So be aware of that, folks. I'm telling you, you got to come out back into the light so you can see what's going on. Yes, sir. Yes, Hold on just for the mic. So do you not believe in the story of Jesus then? In the story of Jesus? Yeah. What was the story? <laughs> I'm saying if, you know, if it's hearsay. And it's oh, don't believe rumors. the hearsay about it. Right. Let it go in one ear and out the other one. Because the moment you believe the hearsay, you get locked in, and then intellectually you're just out repeating what you heard. But if you let it go in one ear and out the other one, and, and keep your eye on yourself, he will reveal himself to you. Then you know it. Okay. No, so you're right. I understand your question now. You get it, yeah. Do not believe the hearsay either of Jesus. Oh, because now they say he is a queen. What? He's Who weak. <laughs> they, say, they present Jesus so weak now, I wouldn't even want to follow him. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> suppose, just think about the people who believe in all that. Uh -huh. Some people say he had a wife or something, or a woman or something. You can't believe all this stuff. It's bad for you to believe it. Let it go in one or the other. There's well, another mean, way of believing. Do you think he walked on water or changed water into water? I'm sorry? Do you think he performed miracles? I believe he did I'm, I'm because I you. know him now for myself. Okay. And I see miracles all the time. I saw a miracle Thursday night that was mind-blowing. Well. <laughs> so, but just let words go in and out. You, you see were, it sounds like you're contradicting. In right? what way? Well, you're saying, you know, you know, don't believe the rumors. But there's a, a lot worldly of what Jesus belief. Did. There's a worldly <laughs> belief. Don't believe it. A, a teaching intellectual belief. Don't believe it. There's a revelation. Believe it. I mean, you can't help but believe it. Okay. Because God is not going to let you see it anyway until you are able to believe it. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about that one. Okay. He's not going to let anyone see that. But good question. Is it still a contradiction, you think? Uh, I, I understand what you mean, yeah. What do I mean? That you believe in Jesus is real because you feel him, you're, you're following him. I'm aware of him, you're yeah. aware of him, yeah. And everyone who wakes up will become aware of him, and he's with you. It's so amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's not like an awareness that I can even describe. Mm -hmm. You have to see it for yourself. So if a Michael Jackson song comes on the radio, are you going to be like, yeah, Michael Jackson, or are you going to be like, ugh? Turn it into like, beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Open up I mean, your heart and eat it. That's the only reason why I want to like, <laughs> like I want to yeah. believe it or not believe it because it's like I want to know for myself to whether listen to Michael Jackson or not. You know what I mean? You make that decision. You see what to do. You yeah. need to know for yourself. Yeah. Right? Like I don't want to believe it, but at the same time, he's a really weird guy. A lot of weird people. <laughs> well, I Everybody mean... Everybody and their mama weird. I mean, look, he was... <laughs> because of that fallen state. Right, right. He was, he was in a fallen state. Yeah. So which leads me to believe that what he found it sexually be. like, because aroused you were him. Because at one point, weren't you in a fallen state? Yeah. Did you want people to be, believe lies about you? Uh, no, but... But what, 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 how would you have felt if someone told them things like that about you? And then they said, well, he's in a fallen state. He could definitely be doing it. Would you like that? No. Don't do unto others what you would not have them do unto you. But people in fallen state, so you don't really have to make things up. They're doing it. You not know necessarily. I mean? <laughs> yeah, necessarily. No. Sure. You said you would never do what they accused Michael Jackson of, right? Or no. would you? I'm saying if someone's in a fallen state, you can kind of see it on them. And people don't just make things up. Yes, they do. 
Uh, like they exaggerated. They make things up. They exaggerated, but believe me, they make things up. It's <laughs> mind blowing. Yeah. Well. And then and then they start crying. It's true. <laughs> it hurt my feelings. Yes, they do. It's uh, people who are out of the fallen state will not make things up, uh -huh. but those in the fallen state will make things up, and the people in the fallen state will believe the things that have been made up. He says if the person know how to overreact to them or carry on about it. Yeah. Just smoke on it. Say, when you, when you hear a rumor about somebody, nine times out of ten, it's true, you know. What? When you hear a rumor about somebody. That's not true either. It is true. Nine times out of ten, it's true? Sure. So just <laughs> small, is that ten or nine? Uh, it's ten. <laughs> yeah. But I got to move on. Okay.